Hey, beautiful soul tribe. So I don't know whether this video today is going to make you laugh or confront you. Uh, hopefully a little bit of both. I'm calling it the rise of the cock because this is exactly what we need to speak to. What has been occurring in the mainstream is beyond diabolical. We're living through an age where somehow the government has deemed it okay to convince parents that you can put your child's puberty on hold until they're able to make a decision as to what gender they will be. And in the event that uh, a little boy may choose to become a little girl, there's been celebrations around the removal of the cock. Now, I'm using that specific word uh, so we shake up our own paradigm. I'm not going to use uh, medical speak when I'm talking to uh, the genitalia of the masculine because we have to refer to it as the cock. It's the only way we're going to wake up to the fact that this apparatus is so powerful, so beautiful and so potent and so needed at this time to rise because we are losing the true power of the cock. This is what's happening. Uh, we're making it okay for little boys to remove, uh, you know, their own precious apparatus, and it's not okay. Of course, uh, you know, this is the whole fake woke PC uh, agenda that's going around. If there are legitimately souls who feel they have incarnated in the wrong body and they have gone through many layers of uh, self analysis analysis may not even be the correct word just self-awareness and they have learned how to decode within themselves they've been able to go through a uh, deep introspection deep meditation and the final result is yes they honestly feel like they were born into the wrong body and at that point it's necessary to have uh, you know, the kind of medical procedures that will change their gender, then I'm, I'm all for it. You know, I have nothing against that. But it is very uncommon that so many beings are so confused about their gender and we have to look at the absolute assault on uh, the male hormones, uh, of course, the female hormones, but this video is about the rise of the cock. And what is happening? You know, even the, it's said that even the receipt paper now that we get from the supermarket has something on it that affects our hormones. This is how insidious and how cunning our uh, elites, aka parasites, that can only create off the organic sentient creations of you know <laughs> you and me the real the real beautiful beings here with the real truly open hearts this is what's happening um there's been an assault on uh our hormonal system obviously through the targeting uh gmos uh foods you name it they're coming at us but what was interesting to me and what prompted this video, um, and I've been wanting to do it for a little while, was a post that I put up uh, maybe a couple of months ago now, and I used this particular image. And so many people had an issue because I was showing, it's a caricature, it's not, it's not actually even a real man, it's a caricature, but because it's showing uh, his pants dropped and you can see his Adonis cut and a little bit of his pubic hair, it really set off the offence buttons in so many people. And what was fascinating to me is that most of the people that were offended were men. Men were offended by the male form. So that Adonis cut, you know, that V that comes down to uh, frame the cock was so offensive to men that I, I was saying back to people, well, this is why we're in so much trouble.
This is why as a society we have gone so far astray because there's this prudishness and almost this in- indignation and this horror about showing the male genitalia, about this, this oh, I'm so offended about the cock. Well, actually, let's let's remove the offence. Let's remove the fake woke agenda. Let's remove being politically correct. And let's talk about why we need the cock to rise at the moment. Because we're seeing men getting around the planet that are shielding themselves with their face nappies from air. They are willing to take orders from these... Again, I've got to do it in inverted commas, elite players that are barking out their ridiculous orders, asking people to shield themselves against, well, air, shield themselves against reality, the true reality of what we're here to experience, which is quite simple. It's here, we're here to love and to be loved. We're here to receive the beautiful codes from our gorgeous Mama Gaia, our earth, from the solar sheer brilliance of that central corridor of light that is God, Goddess, all that is, the solar codes. We are here to take in those codes freely. That is our God, Goddess given right to take in those codes freely. And we are seeing men shielding themselves against those solar codes. It's the definition of absolute insanity. And every time that a divine masculine shields themselves, they are really minimising the potency of their cock. And we need the potency of their cock. We need them to be the love warriors that they were destined and designed to be because that is how we say no and mean it to these tyrannical forces that are wanting to shove us off into transhuman land, make us into zombies, make us into slaves, do their bidding, uh, yes, sir, no, sir, three bags full, sir, whatever crazy ideas they come up with next in under the guise that it's protecting our health. Uh, uh, uh. Those of us who know are aware of all sorts of uh, evil agendas that are being rolled out here on this planet at the moment. So I found it very curious that men were so offended, let me show you again, by this image. What is offensive about the male form and why when, you know, these same men would find it okay if a woman was there with her breasts out or showing a bit of her pubic hair, while they, they probably would go into a state of lust about it, um, again, speaks volumes because it's okay to be operating out of the lower chakras when it comes to lusting after a woman, but it's not okay to show this uh, man's, and again, it's even it's not even a real guy, it's a caricature, showing his pubic hair and his Adonis cut. So I found it really fascinating. And uh, I'm here to say that uh, I won't stand for it. You know, there was nothing about the post that I did that was salacious. It wasn't about the lower chakras. Uh, and and two, you know, you may feel that in this video that I'm making it, uh, you know, I'm, I'm perverting what is is natural and organic. Absolutely not. I am celebrating. I am giving reverence from a heart space for what is natural and organic when it comes to a man's cock. So it's about time we embrace the cock and it's about time that men everywhere remembered who they are, remembered the potency of their cock and remembered that it is a powerful life force tool. We call it in yoga, we call it the vajra, we call it the the lightning rod. This is how potent and powerful the cock is, the vajra, and how like Thor would maybe use, you know, the lightning bolts or, or the thunderbolts and these kind of analogies to wield power here, to, to shape destiny. Every man has that power within him and it is meant to be used for pure love and pure godliness. So remember 
the power of your cock, men, and stop masking yourself against God's pure brilliance and get on with being the leader that you are meant to be. It is time that we embrace the cock. We are not cutting the cock off. We are not emasculating our men. We are reminding them that they are beautiful and potent and powerful in all ways. And we need them as our divine protectors. So here's to the rise of the cock. <laughs>